We are on the world's largest cruise and today we're actually going to be going on the largest water park on a cruise ship here on Royal Caribbean's Icon of the Seas. It's going to be amazing. It looks like fun. It looks kind of scary. <laughs> Six world record slides on a cruise ship. We're going to check it out today in this video, but beforehand we want to get energized. So we're going to go check out a new food spot here on Icon of the Seas. We've seen it and we want to show you. It looks good. Well, let's go find out. And then water park, because I want to get going there as soon as possible. I agree. I think it's a good plan. Let's do it. Now, it's right over here in the Aqua Dome. It's a new food type service, and it's open, I believe, until midnight or a little bit after midnight. The Aqua Dome Market. They've got over five different quick service type places to eat. It's the first crepes on a Royal Caribbean ship. We have this one, which is, what is this? It looks like, um... Rice, noodles, ginger, vegetables, beef, mac and cheese, five, one, two, three, four, five different offerings of mac and cheese. We got Mediterranean food, and we also have toast and garden. I think we're going to try them all. Maybe. I don't know. But let's go check it out. They have a Monte Cristo. Oh. And of course, we've got a washi washi before we eat. It's not even lunchtime, but I swear every time we come in this section of the ship, there's always a lot of people, so this is going to be a very packed area. I think it's more packed than Windjammer half the time we go to the Windjammer. Very popular. Not sure if we're going to get a crepe this time, but I'm not going to lie, we did have one off camera. It is phenomenal. Phenomenal. Kind of reminds me of the Marceline Market on the Disney Wish in a way. It's very narrow. It's not really built for space, but as you can see right here, here is... Everything that we have, the mac and cheese, the Mediterranean, and then the toast in garden all the way here at the back. And also, we're gonna show you a little secret. Instead of eating in here where it's pretty loud, we're gonna show you a really nice place that we enjoy actually more than this section of the ship. Just a little bit loud. We're all about finding quiet spots on cruise ships. We've got the grinder here, the harvest, and here's the Monte Cristo. Looks a little bit different than I thought, but we're gonna we're gonna give it a go. And the best part is this is all included, all completely free. You know, guys, I, I got my second drink here. We got a Heineken because I'm platinum and it was 50% off, so it was four bucks. Back to the overlook, we go. A little bit more busy than this morning, but there's still open spots. I love this area. It's beautiful. Now I don't think I've said it much on this ship. I haven't said the word Disney that much, but I fell in love with Monte Cristo's at Disneyland. Let's see how it tastes compared to that. Yeah, holy camoli cannolis. This is incredible. This is some of the best food I've had on this ship. Really? Uh huh. This is better than hibachi. <laughs> I want another one. This is unbelievable. Casey also got something. I got the Mediterranean bowl, so you pick a different base. It's kind of like a chipotle in a sense. You pick a base, a protein, and then toppings. So I got some chicken, and they shave it. You see them shaving the chicken or the pork off. We've got hummus, cabbage, lettuce, all the things. I'm really excited. You look stunning, by the way. Casey's sparkling. I don't know if you guys can see. She's actually a vampire. She's in the new Twilight movie. It's She's my Bella. Favorite sunscreen. It's like <laughs> a powder, but it makes you sparkle. I love it. I'm gonna try this other sandwich, which uh, it's probably not gonna be as good compared to the Monte Cristo. That Monte Cristo melted in your mouth. So good, but it's not my Monte Cristo. Just my uh, second adult juice before we go to the water parks. <sighs> Never a bad thing. Kind of came reminds me of a baseball game, though. It's like we're free gaming. Resist. Even though I'm pretty full, I really want something sweet. And the crepe place is here, so I'm gonna get a strawberry Nutella crepe. Here's all the different kinds that you can get. Hazelnut and banana sounds great too. I wish y'all could mm. smell this. Mm. Literally, literally smells so good. I love crepes at sea. They're really crepe. Really crepe. 
Well, here we go. It's time to head to uh, Category 6, the largest water park on a cruise ship. Let's go see what it's about. I'm pumped. Casey, I think you're not going to be coming. I'm going with Fane. You're going to be going yeah, with Laura. Laura and I are going to go to the bar. We're going to get a drink and just kind of relax while the, while the guys hang but out we have at the fun. water park. Now, um, Royal is very, very strict about recording. and Let's go do this. Let's go to Thrill Island. Well, before we go to the, the water park, uh, look at all these people. The adult only section is popping. Is there even water? I can't even tell. Now, believe it or not, too, the water park is not busy at all for being a inaugural cruise. Like, we can just walk up on the slide, no lines. Don't know how it's gonna be for you guys, but there's really no lines at all. It's, it's a walk on all six slides. It's nice because there are so many, it helps to disperse the crowd. Most of the cruises only have like one or two slides, so that's why the lines get so long. It's awesome. Yeah. That's that's a perk already. I, I like, like that. You're gonna be able to do all of them. Like so quickly. Ten minutes. Yeah, seriously. I will say, shout out to the lifeguards because they're letting me go up with the camera to show you guys this all the way up to the twentieth deck. I mean, even if you don't even want to do the water park, just to come on up here for the views is crazy. Like, look at this, y'all. Got the flow ride over there. Unbelievable. Views for days. Let's go up. I will say, you can, you can, you can record their slides at, on perfect day, but they're really weird on cruise ships unless you're here with media. Kind of a bummer, but it's okay. Did you know that I'm afraid of heights? No. Yeah, but I can do this without like, oh, really? with ease. You've been looking out the back out of the ship. When I look over something, that's when I'm like, okay. Yeah, we feel it, but it's fine. Have you done the balloon at Disney Springs though? Huh? And now it's fine for you? Yeah. Oh. We're the highest part you can be on the cruise. This is nuts. Here's what the loading part looks like. That's gonna be the drop side, a frightening bolt. And then there's the storm trace chasers, which is the mats. I wanna see these views. And here's what it looks like. Like, look at this. Incredible, right? Unreal. And we're about to go down. Not normal for our water park videos, that's for sure. Cause usually, obviously we slide down. But now we walk. Now I am gonna have a review on what my slide, what my favorite slides are once we start going down. So stay tuned for that. Just a small town girl. What we're looking at here is the first family craft rides uh, water slide on a cruise ship. Complete wildness, which appears to be the most popular. We actually have our first line here. Wow. Well, this is something you never see on a cruise ship. Look how high we are. The views. All right, pressure drop. It's a little, little baby, little steep drop, but the views. Views. Here he goes. Bye-bye. <laughs> With that, everybody, let's go down some slides, baby. Well, we just got done with the water park. Casey has been vibing away. My favorite one by far is the green one. The green one, do the green one, if anything. Um, sorry I couldn't film, but uh, yeah. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, you know? What are you gonna do? That's okay. Royal. You know what, you can enjoy it then. We did. Enjoy it off camera. We did, so it was okay. weird. Really weird not filming, I'll tell you that. It's okay. Let's go on with the evening. We're going by where we put the duck here. Oh, someone took the duck. I didn't think that was gonna last. The duck is gone. We put it over there. 
That did not last like, I don't know, five hours. She's gone. We're headed back to the room. Gotta get ready for dinner. We're actually going to the dining room for the first time. I think our dinner is at 6.45. We're about to find out. Still a little bit confused on that, but hey, dinner tonight. It's gonna be good. Hello. Every day we've gotten and a gift actually. This looks like a kind of like a fanny pack. This would be kind of cool on um, Coco Key Day. Um, I don't know if this is gonna happen on every ship this year for the sailing, but maybe just for the inaugural. But uh, cool gifts every day, hey? That's cute. I'm just realizing now since we have like the new style of the balcony. I don't really have any way to dry my pants now or my swim trunks, so keep that in mind. There's really no way to dry anything when you get like an interior balcony where it's this style. Um, I guess it's kind of a negative, but um, yeah, just thought of that. I'm like, oh shoot, I don't know how I'm gonna dry my pants now. What you guys just didn't see is me taking a nice nap. Got ready for dinner, this is my, my dinner fit. <laughs> However, before dinner, I need to get some food before dinner because we're on a cruise ship. I'm gonna get some pizza real quick. I'm hungry. I've got about 30 minutes till dinner, so this is gonna be an appetizer before the, the appetizers. And that's totally okay, right? You know? Mmm, I'm so hungry. Oh, I can't go down the stairs. The pitcher. I think it's really not crowded at all. It's crazy. It's way pizza. Gotta rush though. We're gonna make this pizza number six. We only had four slices. We gotta change that right now. I'm a pepperoni guy too. Gotta have pepperoni. They have cheese, pepperoni, and then supreme basically. Good, how are you doing? Pizza. Almost in my stomach. I literally have dinner in like 30 minutes. Oh, I love this pizza. I already ate one slice jaw. Walking on, I was said driving on up. I needed that. Have any of you guys done that? Gotten food? Literally 20 minutes before you go sit down at the main dining hall. Casey, you ever done that? Oh, I've done that. I used to go back in the day when I would cruise with my family and always stop at Sorrento's before dinner. <laughs> It's a way to do it. Three, two, one, open them up. Hello, beautiful. Hello. It's dinner time. Finally the main dining. Main dining. I think it's Italian night, so what better night to go to the dining room than tonight? Let's go. How lucky am I to have a hot dinner date tonight? <laughs> That's the roaming at pianoist. Usually he's actually in the elevator, so check out. He might actually be just randomly on your floor. That's so cool. a change up. Yeah. He's so talented. All right, we're headed to the dining room for the first time on the ship. However, we're gonna to to see if we can dine alone. We just don't wanna, we just wanna dine alone tonight. So we're gonna see if they give us a table by ourselves. If we don't sit by ourselves tonight, we might go to Playmakers, but we're hoping that we can get a spot by ourselves, so we'll see. We'll see. Got about 15 minutes until uh, we can go into the dining room, so we gotta check out our first sunset. We just saw this, I'm like, oh my gosh, Case. Look at this. This is where we actually hopped on the ship. This is what cruising's about. Beautiful. We're here killing time and I totally forgot we did carry Oki from a little earlier. This is what it looks like right now, but I gotta show you the clips from uh, what we recorded inside. 
It was fun. Usually I don't do karaoke, but I was about this. Wasn't it fun? Yeah, that was really fun. We should have gone on the stage. We could yeah. have sung a duet. I try to convince you. You didn't want to go on the stage with me. And tell us, about to have a nice song, eh? Oh, yeah. Jump around! Woo! Woo! Jump around! Jump! 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 And it's time. Let's head on in. The only time we were in here was actually just for breakfast. And in we go. I'm so hungry, guys. I really, really am. What do we think of the dining? The dining house. Hi. Where are we gonna go? Oh, very nice. Thank you so much. Cool. This is really nice. I wonder if this is Jojo and Krista's, but they're not gonna be dining if it is with them. They're, uh, I think, going a little bit later. So now, we did kind of get our, our wish granted, but we both were walking on in. We're like, all right, who cares if we get sat like like a big table? But this will do. This this is nice. This is nice, right? This is really nice. Now tonight is Red Night, and it's one of the biggest, most baddest parties on Royal Caribbean cruise ship. So we're kind of well, at least I am gonna go a little light tonight. So I'm thinking about beef carpaccio and maybe a salad and some fries. They do have a lot of mains. This is kind of gonna fill me up, but the creamy mushroom risotto too. I don't know. I'm not trying to have lasagna, but um, we'll see. We'll see. Got to get a creme brulee as well. Where is that? I don't even actually see it. Coffee pot de creme? Hmm. No creme brulee tonight. Tiramisu, though. Here's our view. Not really the best of views, but it's okay. I got my best view right here. There she is. What a beauty. It's actually pretty crazy because I feel like people don't really come to the main dining room that much anymore. Um, it's like pretty empty. I know it's just 6.50 now. We were seated about five minutes ago, but we have like, it feels like the whole dining room to ourselves. Here's a look at my polenta fries. Oh, that's hot, 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 hot. Case, what'd you get? Oh, sorry. Italian minestrone soup. Our server, Mohammed. He um, was on the Serenade of the Seas, which is the the world cruise ship now where they're going nine months around the world, and now he's here on Icon, um, so that's kind of cool. I'm also a big sucker for the butter and rolls before they bring stuff out here at dinner. Let's try this, polenta fries. That'll do. I just wanted to try them. That's why I left cruise ships. You can try as much as you want. Mm-hmm. Is your thing good, your soup? It's so good. I love soup. I think we know that by now. <laughs> that was a little too much. I will say though, I'm still absolutely dreaming about that Monte Cristo. So good. It was so good. All right, I will say this dish really wasn't my favorite, but I'm happy I tried it again. Gotta try different things that you never really try on a cruise ship. That's one of the best parts about it. It was a little bit dry. But Casey. I should get a sticker for Clean Play Club. The beef carpaccio has arrived. I love beef carpaccio. If you guys haven't tried it, try it on a cruise ship. You'll fall in love with it and you'll want it every single time. This alone, I would just come here just for beef carpaccio. But how will it be? I'd say it's so so. Um, it had way better beef carpaccios, but it's beef carpaccio. Zero complaints here. I'm just trying to compare it so you guys can know if you well, what to expect when coming to the dining hall for for um, supper. <laughs> for supper. Do you say supper or dinner? I say dinner. She's gone. Enjoyed it. I love beef carpaccio. Definitely get this when you guys come here. I got the chicken parmesan. It is a classic Italian night staple. So I had to get it. And then I got... <laughs> the salad. This is the best thing I could do for some semi diet. Oh, in case he's getting the cheese. Gotta get the cheese. Let me just do a quick scan here. 
it's just very shocking on how empty it is, especially for an inaugural cruise. There's a lot of tables available, even down there as well. It's, uh, it's very shocking. Very shocking. I will say the nice thing about an empty dining room is we are like VIPs here. Here's the coffee de pot cream. I've never had this before, so got to try it. In the case, you got the lemon tart, and I believe this is one of the things that we love a lot. We're suckers for lemon. So I did get coffee as well <laughs> with my coffee dessert. I wonder how coffee this is going to taste. This is good. I like this. You like it? Yeah. It's, it's nummy. Oh, heck yeah. I'm trying to energize. Today I've been really exhausted. Not sure if you guys can tell. I mean, did go to the water park, but other than that, it's just been, you know, constant go, 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 especially with filming content every day. So thanks for tuning in every day, guys. Love you guys. I'm happy to be here and having a coffee dessert with my coffee and my boo. Now here on Icon of the Seas, there's three times for main dining, and they said you cannot show up more than 15 minutes late to your dining because of their their system, and uh, basically they're they're training until March because March is when they have 7,000 people on the ship instead of 5,000, which all this will probably be full. We're kind of just having a very chill experience, which is nice, but just don't show up late on Icon. They will not accept it. They literally said. They zero upper, zero, zero probably chance of them accepting you. That's when you'll have to go fish for your own dinner. Like, yeah, like we did the first night. <laughs> By the way, Casey's dessert actually, that that is incredible. Incredible. A lot of sugar, though. It's so good, I decided to get my own as well. One quick look. We're on the top floor. Total of three stories. And out we go. Well, that was quite the experience. We got in and got out in like 40 minutes. Yeah, and for a three course dinner, that's actually really good. Because normally you spend a little bit of time in there. Um, it was fantastic. Yeah, it's, I loved it. it's I, cr I've never had that experience, I don't think, ever. I really like our waiter and assistant waiter. Mm -hmm. Really cool just They're chatting nice. with them. And I always like, that's always one of my favorite parts about being on cruises is just everyone you meet and talk to just from all walks of life. To summarize up our dining experience, I think it was, we'll say like, there's a piano guy, he's in there now. See, and we don't get to use the elevator, so we would never know that. <laughs> I'd give it a, um, food wise, I'd say like a 7 out of 10. It didn't get any entrees, but everything all together, I'd give it a, a solid 8 out of 10. I'd give it probably 7.5 out of 10. But oh, there you have it. I feel like the dining room, yes, you go for the food, but it's more just the atmosphere, the chilling waiters. Yeah, just like having a nice, was. like, relaxed evening. Speaking of relaxed, I don't know if we're going to have a relaxed evening. We're, we'll see. I have coffee. The big party is tonight, too, so we oh, might yeah. go check it out. The but red night. I don't know if we're going to get festive. Are you supposed to in red night? We'll see. I really want to go in the elevator. One of these days. Yeah, I want to go see the, <laughs> the pianist. Every night we've seen a photographer up here by the Pearl. Kind of a must do. Kind of a must do. So we're going to do it. By the way, those new to cruising, it seems really weird at first, but when you're done with something, you just set it down and leave. <laughs> it was probably one of the hardest things to get used to when I was cruising. They have people that come by and just clean it up. It's kind of nice. You don't have to do anything. It's great. Even after cruising for a while, though, it still feels weird. Yeah. I still try to put it in a convenient spot to, like, a restaurant or something like that. You know, I have a bad habit of saying we're doing the no stairs challenge. I obviously mean we're doing the no elevator challenge, but we honestly think it's a breeze. If you do this and you're on floor 10, it is so simple. But we'll have to see in tomorrow's video when we get off at St. Kitts. Because we got to go from floor 2 to like 10 or 14. That's going to be tough. We just came in the Aqua Dome. And there's obviously a show going on. I think a little past 9. What time is it right now? It is 8.34. It's kind of already full. 
And you can actually, if you want, watch the show in the back and not even have a reservation. It looks like they're scanning for those who are sitting actually in the Aqua Theater, but there's actually some seats, I believe, back here. Oh, that's for the, that's for Hooked. But I think you can stand. We'll figure it out. We're seeing this, I think, technically on like night five. But the more you know, right? I mean, there are seats right here. I don't think anybody wants to sit here because it's on the side, but... Here's what the theater looks about 25 minutes until showtime, at least the 9 o'clock show. So there's still plenty of spots, but I would advise at least 30 to maybe 40 minutes before and to get the spot that you actually do want. Because we're on the side, but we'll see if we can actually even sit here. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Well, the good news is we didn't even expect to see Aqua action, but we're going to see it in action. I think I'm going to like this a little bit better, especially for filming purposes, because we're kind of a butt of everybody's heads, and um, how cool is this? It's so unexpected, so let's see what the show's about. Quick heads up, there's actually some empty seats here, but it's actually reserved for the Sweets, Pinnacle, Diamond Plus, and the Key. And now it looks like about 10 minutes until showtime, they let non like sweet people fill on in. this show oh man Woo! oh wow that was it okay interesting there wasn't like a big finale i kind of want more honestly we're back in the room quick review of the aqua show definitely go see it my only thing was the waterfall i wish they would have used it way more and it just ended abruptly they were so incredibly talented like when watching it, it kind of makes you feel bad about your life choices and not being able to do all those things. Um, they said that there was something in it, in the show. I can't remember what he said. It was some French word, but uh, oh, it was a duet um, for the love scene that they did. Um, it's the only time that they that this has ever been performed in the entire world, and it's on the ship. Cool. Let's go do something else. <laughs> The best thing is watching Jojo Gamble. It's so entertaining. Fifty dollars down the drain. It's okay. We got a wear oh, here. Right. Oh, it all went. Oh! Oh, that's oh man. Oh my god. Five hundred and eighty-eight dollars. There's so many of us here just like looking at this one slot because it's got a thousand on the board, but it's 21 per spin. And we're all debating. We have someone doing $21 a roll. Come on, baby. Oh! 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 Let's go, let's go! Let's go! Oh my gosh, let's go! Make it 
205 already won. Wait, why are you at 205 dollars? More, baby. Cash it out. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should have played. Let's go check out Red. On the wonder, this was such a vibe. It's only an hour though. Well, I will say, on the wonder, it was definitely a lot more crowded, but we're actually here with only like 15 minutes remaining. It's only an hour. Bummer. We're back in the room. It's 12.30. What a day it really has been. Hope you guys enjoyed this daily vlog. I mean, honestly, usually I'm recording all the time. I just really didn't record that much. I don't even remember what we all did. Um, I guess I'll see you here in post in a second, but thanks for being here. We are at 196,000 subscribers upon filming this video. I don't know, during this series, are we gonna get, are we gonna hit 200,000? I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, we'll find out. We'll see you guys tomorrow on the of your daily dose. Bye-bye.